The rapidly growing Indian economy poses great growth opportunities for India's hospitality sector. In a country that offers diverse destinations to travelers, a number of real estate developers and entrepreneurs are today investing into this business, attempting to bridge the gap between demand and supply. Eleven years ago, a professional chartered accountant, Rajesh Chaudhary, foresaw this growth and decided to follow his passion for the food and travel business, and that was the birth of Auris Hospitality Group. I'm a chartered accountant, having completed my CA in '84, started with practice initially, got migrated into consultancy, focusing mainly on hotels and restaurants, because my passion actually is food, travel and hotels. Uh, in 2000, with some capital, I started Oris Group with the intention to get into restaurants to start with and then gra gradually go into hotels. Oris Hospitality has a chain of restaurants like Ubuntu, Marimba and Zulu situated in the heart of Mumbai under one roof. The company has designed each of its restaurants keeping the taste and preferences of various customer age groups at the core of its business strategy. In our business we need to give what customer wants and uh, we make a good attempt here to you know try to cater to different segments, different age groups. So if Marimba takes care of uh, a size you know of 25, uh, age group of 25 onwards to about 40, 45 for, because it's essentially a party place, uh, Ubuntu takes care of uh, the fine dine area of, uh, of the age group of 45 to probably 60, 65. And whereas the terrace, where we have a small casual area, that takes care of a, a, you know, a group which wants to spend a little less, but wants to also have a good time and have good meals. The company believes that the way to the customer's hearts is through their stomachs. Its kitchen offers world cuisine like Western, Oriental and Mughlai in all its restaurants. The dishes are prepared by highly experienced chefs who not only blend the perfect combination of spices, but also sprinkle a bit of their passion for cooking before serving their clients. We are a world cuisine restaurant and my kitchen I cook uh, Western Oriental, that is Chinese Thai and uh, Indian food and uh, tandoor. And uh, since we are in this hospitality industry, I most of the time go personally to the guest table, take the orders, understand their taste and, and cook accordingly. Oris Hospitality's Ubuntu is a fine dining restaurant designed according to an African theme with spectacular lighting and ambience. It offers world cuisine to please the taste buds of the entire family under one roof and an inviting buffet that offers the choicest salads to health conscious customers. Zulu on the other hand is an open terrace lounge offering decor, space and delicacies aimed at a younger crowd. I'm coming here from last 3-4 months, it's in a very good place, open roof area which you don't get to see in Bombay nowadays, it's very rare and the food you get over it's very tasty and unbelievable price and the staff and the services are very good. Oris Hospitality has an edge over its competitors thanks to the three different kinds of experiences that it offers to customers. Its Marimba Bar and Lounge is most aptly described as a party venue as it has an in-house DJ, a bar and a dance floor. With high levels of customer satisfaction and delicious food, the company has earned a huge client base across different classes and age groups. We cater to all uh, type of clientele, whether it's uh, family, whether it's working individual, professionals, corporates. In the pa uh, party area where we have uh, a lot of corporates have their corporate events and parties. Then we also cater to uh, foreign travelers who come into Mumbai for, whether for exhibitions or for uh, tourism purposes. The ever increasing domestic and international travelers have today made the Indian tourism and hospitality sector the largest service sector in the country. It not just contributes over 6% to the national GDP, but also offers a plethora of opportunities to enterprising entrepreneurs. <laughs>